The Chinese have landed, bringing with them their pandemic. Two flights from COVID-infected China landed in Milan yesterday. Almost half of the passengers had the Wuhan virus. Confirming every fear that Beijing's new free travel policy was nothing but a means of taking the virus back to the world, which had barely started to recover from the deadly catastrophe. Why did China allow infected people to travel abroad? Why did they? Which airline? Airlines not following essential safety rules like RT-PCR checks for every passenger, is that what's happening? Why were they, why were there infected passengers on these planes? These are basic COVID time travel protocols we are talking about. And China should have been following them. But what happened instead and why? Is Beijing spreading havoc once again, deliberately, letting the virus travel on its carriers? Whatever the motive, the facts remain facts, and this is exactly what's happening. Let me tell you, Milan has once again become China's first victim city. I don't know how many of you remember this. Milan was the, one of the first European cities to collapse during the first wave in 2020. The city is Italy's fashion capital, and China is the world's copy capital, making and faking high fashion items and selling them at low prices. Over the years, this connection has paved the way for a sizable Chinese community in Milan, which in turn has gone on to increase connectivity between Milan and Chinese cities. And today it is Milan. Tomorrow it could be Italy. And from Italy, Europe. The two flights full of infected people are the first ripples of what could be a new wave. A repeat of 2020, rising infections, rising death toll. In fact, Japan has already been engulfed. Japan has recorded 415 single day COVID-19 deaths, 415 deaths. It's the highest ever for the country. Europe is under COVID-19 strain again. There is a marginal rise in cases in India as well. Do you see what's happening here? The dragon virus is traveling. China refused to share data with the world because it wants to hide the truth of another outbreak of plague proportions. China says officially that only one person died of the Wuhan virus in the last 24 hours. One person. The dragon has become a compulsive liar. Should you be sitting still, listening to its lies and doing nothing? Or should you be listening to those who tell you it's Omicron, nothing will happen? Don't be complacent about the nature of the Wuhan virus. Have a look at what's happening in Japan and you will realize that the Wuhan threat is as dangerous as ever. The virus that is surging in China could be evolving to attack the brain. And I'm not indulging in the fanciful. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. This is what researchers from France and Australia are discovering about the variant BA.5. The findings have already been uploaded to a preprint platform. We know that earlier the Wuhan virus was targeting our lungs. And now, it's going after our brain. Meaning, if you get infected, your brain could be at risk. Is that a risk you are willing to take? So far, prudent countries have limited their response to new travel rules. But research is rising and pharmaceutical companies are getting ready for a crisis at a discreet nudge from governments. India, for example, says anyone arriving from China should carry a COVID negative test report. But what if a Chinese traveler is coming via Vietnam or Cambodia? What happens then? I'll tell you, any infected person gets out of the airport scot-free and sets off a chain reaction. And I don't need to tell you how that ends. We all remember the visuals of mass cremations the site of mass graves. We remember scrambling for medicines, oxygen, 
hospital beds. We are all better prepared when it comes to the health infrastructure, but why should we suffer hardships because of China's indifference to the world's fate? There is one immediate decision that can be taken. Nations must prevent flights from China until it has brought its pandemic under control. Second, test everyone with a Chinese passport, not just a ticket from China. I've said this before, and I'm not afraid to say it again. We have nothing against the people of China. This is just public safety. Indeed, the people of China will also be helped if their government stops this virus at home. After all, this is about safeguarding lives, safeguarding our loved ones. The US, Japan, Italy, Taiwan must take note. If you are serious about protecting lives, then take serious measures. The onus also falls on each one of you watching this show tonight. You must pressure your governments to stop the Chinese virus from spreading. The time has come to wish everyone a happy new year. The time has also come to ensure that the new year is happy. Else 2023 will be 2020 all over again. And I don't think you want that. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.